items you need is your bell, make sure it's actually your bell, a pipe cleaner, any color that you want, and a clay ball. That is it. And then lots of patience, artist. Artist, I've been doing some experimenting. I've used yarn, I've used the wire, I've used dinner floss, I've used fishing line, and the best thing that I have discovered for the bell, and this is the old bell. We tried the wire with one class and it didn't work. Sorry, guys. You're going to have a pipe cleaner, and you're gonna it's going to be cut in half. Choose whatever color you want. And the first thing that you do, you're going to make sure that you send it through these holes. Some of the holes have closed up. I'm sorry. I'll see if I can fix them. If it's really bad, then I won't be able to fix this. So see how I took the pipe cleaner there, artist? And I bring it through, okay? And I have a little on one side and a lot on the other. That's what you want. You want to think it kind of like looks like the letter J. Then you're going to take your clay ball, uh, set that aside first, and you're going to take just a little, see I have a little bit of twisting? I'm going to twist these two together. So I take my fingers and I twist it so you have enough, not too much, but you want to have enough. So I'm going to twist those really good, kind of like a uh, twist tie for a trash bag. Fingers. Let's watch that again. And I twist it so you have enough, not too much, but you want to have enough. So I'm going to twist those really good, kind of like a uh, twist tie for a trash bag. So I've got it twisted. Then, artist, I thought that you actually wanted to have the clay ball inside of here, but you actually want it sticking outside a little bit, so then it will be able to uh, jingle against the side. So you take it through here, and you can very carefully test it. Let me see here. I think I have to actually have it attached. So then it's down here just a little bit, so adjust it. See how this would be too much inside? I wouldn't be able to hear it. Actually bring it out like this. And you can redo this, because this is just a um, pipe cleaner. So I'm going to bend it right now and chuck it. And there we go. It's hitting against that little piece of the pipe cleaner. That's why it's making it softer. So you can either kind of twist this around on its side and have it be on the end. So then we know it won't come out. Now be careful, there's a little piece of wire on the end. Then it won't be banging against the edge. It'll meeting the edge of the pipe cleaner. And there is your little bell artist. I have not decided what we're gonna do first. This is my one of my examples. I'm not sure if we're gonna paint this first or do the bell first. Um, and you get to choose what you want. And so this is gonna be added to the video now. Take your water off. Your water should be half full at your table. These are your brushes. You can set this uh, tray in the middle of your table. These are acrylics that we use for a uh, painting thing that we did at the beginning of the year. You're gonna have a messy mat or a scrap piece of paper. I'm just gonna use this paper towel because I don't have anything over here. And my biggest thing when Mrs. Milligan has paints in this art room. We never mix. Everybody say never mix. Thank you. And remember when we hold Miss Paula, we want to be careful with her. These are brushes that have been used for the acrylics. Remember, we only dip the tip. We've talked about how to use a paintbrush. Uh, you might need to stir these. These have been sitting here for a little bit. I always suggest that you start with the lightest color. These are acrylics. You do not add water to acrylics. However, you can start making sure your brush is clean. Remember how we clean it in the number eight? Artist, clean it number eight. Check the side. Make sure my brush is clean. Now, this is a very dry surface, and it will soak it up really good. Start with your lighter colors. Hold it in your hand, and you can paint this. Decide how you want it. Paint the whole thing if you want. If you want to have a solid color, I'm sorry, meaning a solid bell, meaning go all the way across, you can do a pattern. You want to go lighter first, artist, and then darker. See, I'm holding this Paula. I have her up in the air like this. I'm only dipping the tip. You're going to share these paints with your shoulder buddy. Be careful when you're working around and painting. You might get a little bit on you. You're going to have to hold it. Be gentle, because if you dropped your bell, remember, what could happen? That's right. It could break. So you get one piece of wire, very carefully, go around, and you're going to have to drop these of paper. This could be different colors, so I'm going to, now I'm going to paint it quick. This will dry really quick. Make sure that you have your project. Clean my brush, number eight. Make sure it's really good and clean. Check on the side.
We are not painting the inside. Be careful that you don't get paint on your hands and get on your project. Now I'm going to paint the inside. Meaning just the rim of it, not the whole inside of the bell. The end. You will just set it on your scrap paper. I will either have you bring it to a box to dry. I haven't decided how we're going to seal them. Usually I use Mod Podge. I'm not sure if you're going to brush them on. It'll be another class. Or if I will spray it. And now, clean up my brush. Swirl it in an eight. Check my bell. And there's my little bell. And then I would put my lid on it if my person is done. I'm going to go back, actually. Decided to add a little bit more detail where I had my texture. Look what happened, artist. I had paint on my fingers. I might be able to wipe that with a wet paper towel. When you clean up, artists, make sure that all the brushes are facing the same way and that they're all clean and your lid's on and everything. I can actually paint the darker over the light to fix it, where I had gotten paint on my hand. Remember, artists, to be very careful with your bells. You don't want to drop them. If your water is dirty, you can refill it. Remember, half full, please. Thank you.